networking will get you to your next level. So it'll give you the opportunity to know other people and eventually earn their business. So that's what happens, unfortunately, when most agents, when they're first starting out, is they have this big dream that, yes, they're going to sell a property and become millionaires tomorrow. Good morning, ma'am, and welcome to the Women of Divine Connections conference. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us in what, which industry you work in? Hi, my name is Katia Bellany. I'm a licensed real estate broker based out of New York. Ma'am, can you please tell us what role do you see women playing in reshaping communities through the real estate and development, especially from a kingdom perspective? Well, first and foremost, um, as a woman and as a woman within the kingdom of God, it was very important for me to incorporate the two because most often we kind of like do not bring forth what it is that we're doing in terms of our careers when it comes to our um, faith. But as a woman of faith, I bring forth real estate wherever it is that I go. Because at the end of the day, I am a businesswoman and I'm also a faithful woman. What are the biggest misconceptions people have about the real estate industry and how can women navigate those? Ah, oh, well, 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 well. Um, the real estate industry in itself, it's a... Huh, it's a beast. It's a beast. I remember when I first got started um, at 18, I asked myself a few questions like, is this really for me? Am I going to be able to dominate? Am I going to do well in the business? But over time, after doing it for over 17 plus years, um, I do not let anything um, get in my way. And as a woman of faith, as I mentioned before, um, whatever it is that I put my feet on, the Lord has given it to me. So therefore, I don't walk in without not having the confidence that I need to have. I'm bold, I'm spiritual, and I know that with God, all things are possible. Amen. What are some of the key principles or strategies women should embrace when pushing real estate as an investment or career? Well, first and foremost, it's very important for each and every single person, including women, to invest in real estate. Um, it's one of the pillars to create wealth. And in my journey, one of the things that I push forward for is for people to utilize real estate as a vehicle to create wealth. So women should definitely embrace real estate, push forward, invest in the industry, become um, very involved in the industry. And those who are interested in pursuing real estate as a career, they should definitely go ahead and do it. Do not let anything stop them from moving forward. And what are the common mistakes in real estate agents make and how can they be avoided? Um, some of the common mistakes, obviously, they think they're going to become millionaires the next day. It's possible, but it requires for you to be dedicated. It requires for you to be at a level and for you to have standards. Um, I've always said real estate meets you at your level. If your level is below, that's where real estate will meet you because these are the people, unfortunately, you'll be um, interacting with. So it's very important for you to network. Networking will get you to your next level. So it'll give you the opportunity to know other people and eventually earn their business. So that's what happens, unfortunately, when most agents, when they're first starting out, is they have this big dream that, yes, they're going to sell a property and become millionaires tomorrow. But then what they don't realize is who are they going to sell a property to? Who do they know that wants to do business with them? And what would your advice be to someone who would say, okay, I would like to enter this real estate business. What is your advice to them? Go for it. Go for it and do not look back and um, take the time to get a mentor. You cannot really navigate without a coach, without a mentor. Someone who's been there, done that, who will be more than happy to guide you through because then you're saving seven to 10 years by having a mentor than when you don't have one. Ms. Katia, we thank you so much for joining us today and we hope and believe that you shall be blessed today in this conference and in your business. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm going to honor God first and foremost for giving me the opportunity to be with you all. Secondly, I thank God for Prophet Issachar for this divine connection and through that divine connection, his wife, Mama Longi. 
And I want to thank God for each and every single one of you here today because this was not easy, I'm pretty sure. Um, yes, all the way from New York, it was a journey, an adventurous one. <laughs> it took me a while to get here, but I'm super excited. I am more than happy to be with you all this afternoon. Um, as I mentioned before, I immigrated to the United States of America at the age of 12. My journey started. And long behold, to whom much is given, much is required. Okay? You want a lot of money, a lot will be required. It's very important for you to understand how to take the mental that is placed upon your life. So at the age of 15 years old, unfortunately, I'm gonna give you my little testimony and then go into the work that we're going to do this afternoon. Unfortunately, I became homeless at the age of 15. And um, I was still in school, didn't know what to do, but I knew I had a God. I knew and my God was greater than anything and everything. So I paid my tithe. I remember leaving my grandmother's house with just 30 US dollars. I paid my tithe, my 10% of $3. The rest has been history. You have to trust God with the little so that he can give you a lot. You cannot move forward if your hands are closed. In order for you to receive, your hands must be opened. So my $3 of tithe opened many doors for me. And I think the sister who spoke before about looking good, it's very important. So I was in high school at the time. I was on my way, I was coming to school. I always dressed really nice to go to school. There's something about fashion I really enjoy. And the assistant principal of that school looked at me and says, are you one of the teachers in the school? I said, no, I'm a student. So are you going for a job interview? I said, no, but I'll definitely take a job if you have one. He says, follow me to my office. I surely did. I followed him to the office, and guess what? He interviewed me right then and there and gave me an opportunity to work. The favor of God. The favor of God. My seed was working for me. So I got on, I got that job, and that job made ways for me to go to high, I mean, finish high school, go to college, earn not one, but two master's degrees by the grace of God. In addition to my two master's, I have several certificates on top of that. But most importantly, now we're gonna segue into the real estate aspect of things. At the age of 18, while I was in college, I needed to look for an apartment. I walked into a real estate office. I met with this woman named Suzanne. I'm still in touch with Suzanne today. And Suzanne took me around to look at two apartments. Although I was working, but I was only making $675 approximately every two weeks. So when Suzanne took me to see the two apartments, they were like literally a block away. In New York, we said a block. I don't know what you guys say it here. A block away from one another. One was a studio, the other one was a two bedroom apartment. The two-bedroom apartment was $800, and then the studio was $650. So, of course, in my 18-year brand, I wanted to move into the two-bedroom apartment because I could invite friends over. But, of course, I was moving to an island, so none of my friends would come over because it's an island. You have to pay to get there. So I had to come back to reality, and I moved over to the studio. I took the studio, and she says, my commission is $650. I looked at her. I said, what? Uh, I don't have any money on me right now to give, pay you. It's no problem, I'll take you to the bank. She did, she took me to the bank. That was a divine moment in my life. It changed everything. Because I was making $675 every two weeks. Now Suzanne made $650 in 45 minutes. Hello. I said, what? I said, Suzanne, um, what do you do? She said, I'm a licensed salesperson. I sell real estate. I was in school the next day. I'm, I was going to get my money and then some. So then at 18 years old, I sold my first property. I made $14,000. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes. And I have to tell you, by the age of 27, I opened up my own office. 
But before then, the Lord has blessed me to own properties. So I give God praise and I thank him because without him, there's no way this would have been possible. And now I go around the globe to teach people how to own real estate. So this afternoon, you are in for a nice treat. You're going to learn how to become property owners because we want to utilize real estate as a vehicle to create wealth because it is our birthright for us to be health wealthy. It is our birthright for us to have more than enough because the word of God says when we have more than enough, this is when we know that we are truly in alignment with God. Whatever it is that we desire, the Lord will give it to us. So to this afternoon, I want you to desire great. I want you to desire to move on to your next level. And how you're going to move on to your next level is not going to be without God because we cannot do it without the Lord. So it's very important for you guys to have what we call a prayer board. A prayer board, you will put all of your dreams, all of your wishes, all of your goals, all of the things that you want to accomplish, that house that you want to buy, put it on that prayer board. Because you know what? You're not going to have it until you take it by force in the spirit realm. When you take it by force in the spirit realm, the Lord will then connect you in the physical realm with the people that's going to open the floodgates of heaven and release that property or those properties unto you. So my first property I bought, I remember calling and they told me that that property was in contract. I really liked it because it was around the golf course and I love playing golf. And I, I went to pray. I took a picture of the house and I put it on my prayer board and the rest was history. Three months later, that property came back on the market. So you need to learn to shift things, all right? Do not see a closed doors and say, it's closed. Who told you that it's closed? Your father in heaven did not tell you that the door has been closed. So please, you are not walking in the physical realm. You are walking as a spirit being. So it's very important for you to start prophesying to the things that you want to manifest in your life. All right, you want that house. What are you going to do in order for you to have the house? You need a job. You definitely need a job. So what are you going to do? Are you going to sit at home? You're not. You're going to walk around. You're going to look good. You're going to get your CV together. Get your resume together and plant your seed. Give your resume around. Trust the Lord for that job. Give him praise for the job already because I can tell you one thing. If you have praised the Lord before he manifests something in your life, he will definitely do it and he will do greater things in your life. So this afternoon, I want you to go home with this in mind. I want you to lay everything that you need for your next level. Everything. And I mean everything. Everything. But I don't just want you to name them because it's going to make you feel good. I want you to connect with God's divine purpose. Because he will only bless you when it's connected to something in his kingdom. What are you gonna do with the wealth? Is it for you to boast yourself? Is it for you to look good? It's not for you, remember that. It's for his kingdom, as kingdom-minded people, okay? You want to help the less fortunate, and he will bless you to help the less fortunate. And you don't have to wait till you have the money to do that. You can do it right now. Bless someone right now. You are one person away from your next connection. One person. Do not come to church and just walk away without saying hello to someone because that next person may have the key to your door. So please, this afternoon, take advantage of this conference. Meet someone because that next person that you're meeting may connect you, may change your life. So as you write down your goals, as you write down your heart desires, you're going to pray on them. You commit thy work unto the Lord and let him do what he does best because he is great. He is our Jehovah Rapha. He is our Jehovah Jireh. He is the God, our provider. Yes. Whatever it is that we're seeking, he will provide. He will give to us. So trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on thy own understanding. 
I want to tell you that there is more than enough for each and every single one of you. More than enough. And I don't just want you to buy one property. Please, buy multiple properties. Not one, not two. You need to have a portfolio of real estate. It's only but right. We have a great God. So when you meet someone, they need to see the greatness of God within your life. And how do they see the greatness of God within your life? If you've been a Christian for all these years, it needs to manifest. So moving forward, I want you to go to work. Because faith without works is dead. Apply it. Apply everything that you've learned here. You have a great ministry that's backing you up. They will stand with you. They will pray with you. So all you have to do now is to push forward. Do the leg work. Don't just sit around and think, oh yes, yeah, you just said that, I'm gonna own houses, it's going to come. No, you have to actually do the leg work. You need to meet with a licensed real estate person. Go to the bank, I don't care if you have the money or not, get the information. Find out because when you go and get the information, guess what you're doing to your brain? You're programming your brain for your next level. But you can only do that if you are meeting with the right people. So please, when you know you're about to get to your next level, it is not time for you to sit and have normal, basic conversation. Go out of your comfort zone. Go and have those conversations that need to be had. Go to the bank. Speak to the people that have the key, that have the connection to tell you, guess what? Speak to the attorney. You never know. Let me tell you, God works in miraculous ways, but he can only do it if you're doing your part. Because he, will, he might just shift things around for you. I need, when I was purchasing another property, I was short. And at that moment that I was short, I'm looking to my right, I'm looking to my left, I'm doing what I need to do. But the Lord opened up a door out of nowhere for a promotion. A door with, and, and the exact money that I needed, guess what? That's the exact amount that I received. But I was in alignment with God's purpose. So this afternoon, create that vision board. Create that prayer board. And trust God with it. Think outside of the box. Do not put God in a little box because he is mighty. The earth and everything that is in it belongs to him as Psalms 24. So please, I don't care what your situation is. You may not have all the funds. You may not have all the connections. But I need you to step out of faith. Because we're moving by faith and not by sight. I look forward to meeting with each and every single one of you. You can follow me on Instagram at Katya's World. Okay, Katya's World is my Instagram. And be blessed, because next year around this time, when we're having our conference, I want to hear testimonies after testimonies after testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.